Love Island episode 7 and I do not know how Jess manages to stay so calm. Let's think back to just a few episodes ago when Kieran took Nicole into the hideaway and Harriet absolutely lost her shit. She was going crazy, she was calling everybody names, she's stomping about the house, she's acting like an absolute child. And then what happened last night? She toddles on into the hideaway with Ronnie. I'm not one for slut shaming people, right? But she is an absolute fucking hook. Ronnie was in the hideaway trying to kiss Harriet and obviously Jess was annoyed, but she managed to still sit there and be like, oh, he's out of order, like if he kisses her, that's that. I'm sorry. I would have gave them two minutes and I'd have been in there and I'd have been like, is this a fucking joke? Like, did we not have this discussion? If you've got to put Sunday for a chat, come and talk to me first. It's very simple. It's very fucking simple. Do you have two brain cells to rub together? And as for you, slut bag, have you forgot how you reacted when Karen was in here with Nicole? Both of you can go and take an absolute fuck to yourself. But no, she acted like a total adult. She was so calm. I was like, how is she doing this? Where does she get the inner strength, right? So then she was in the changing room and fucking Harriet Bitchface comes in and she's like, oh, can I talk to you? And she says, no, don't talk to me. But what does she fucking do? She ignores her and carries on talking to her anyway. I'd have been like, ah, do not fucking speak to me. Are you deaf or are you just fucking stupid? But Jess still managed to stay calm and be like, no, you've got no loyalties to me. It's not you, it's him. No, it's both of them because she's supposed to be a friend. And after the way she's reacted when people have done the same thing to her, she's getting an absolute cheek to sit there and say, oh, I was going to come and talk to you. Too fucking late, bitch. Too fucking late. Right? He should have came and spoke to her before he pulled her for a chat. And I wouldn't have expected her to say, no, I'm not going to kiss you or whatever. But it's the fact that she just went into the hideaway. Maybe she should have said, no, do you know what? Like, that's a bit of order. Maybe we shouldn't go in there because it'll hurt her feelings. But no, she just fucking toddles in there. And I tell you what, she would fucking drop her knickers for anybody. It's a shame spitting image isn't still a show because all they would have to do is make an exact impression of her face. Practically twins. The other night when Sean was talking to Harriet and on the after show they were saying, oh, he's just getting him on anybody he can speak to, he doesn't really like it. And I thought, no, I think he does. I think he's a really nice guy. I think he fancies her. And then he takes Jess in and speaks to her and basically gives her the exact same speech. And I was like, I fell for his fucking charm. I actually thought he was a really nice guy. I actually thought that he liked her. But he's just trying to stay in the show. And it's a shame because... I actually like him. Samantha was talking about Joey and saying that she doesn't think he likes her because he says he's like really PDA and he hasn't been very affectionate and he said the same thing about her and she says oh somebody's going to come in and be like oh I'm going to get with him because it's Joey Essex and I actually felt bad for him because when he said I'm not trying to be Joey Essex in here I'm just trying to be Joey I actually believed him because a lot of the time on other shows, he acts really, really ditzy. And as he says, like, that's part of his brand. But in this show, he's hardly done it. I've only ever seen him doing it once when he was talking about gravitating towards somebody. Other than that, he's actually acting pretty normal. So the time had come for Omar and Mimi to receive a text and they were told that they could either couple up with each other or steal. So I was watching this with my friend and I was like, they're obviously just going to couple up with each other because they know that if they steal, then the other people are going to go home and they wouldn't want to send the other people home, right? So they're sitting having the talk and I'm like, oh, they're doing this for dramatic effect. Like, they're just going to pick each other. And then when they got up at the end and they were like, we've decided to steal, I was like, what? <laughs> I was actually shocked. Like, good for them, right? Good for them. I think they made the right decision, but I was just, I just thought that they were going to try and have an easy life and just, like, stick with each other. So, after watching last night's episode, my opinions haven't changed that much, other than about Ronnie, who I now think is even more of a skis bag than before. Let me know what you think in the comments.